Well, good evening, everyone, and I hope uh, you're well. This is just a very quick hobby update. Um, haven't been. I feel like I haven't been out much, um, uh, making slow progress as we go through it. But um, I finished the shot, wings of shot for. Uh, who is this again? This is uh, Ralph Hopton. Sorry, I had to go and check. Um, this is Ralph Hopton's regiment of foot. So uh, light blue coats, a lot like uh, Prince Rupert's blue coats, and then uh, white facings. So um, another twenty-four of them done. So they join nicely with the pike block that I managed to sort of uh, scrounge together for them. Which the whole unit is here. So, uh, there is the second battalion done for the uh, Royalists. Uh, and I put this flag just down at the front just to give it a little bit of uh, uh, visual interest. So, that's his colours there. And staff command and everything as well. So, another regiment done. Um, for the parliamentarian side, I have finished. Whoa, camera! For the parliamentarian side, I have finished uh, this uh, pike block, which is Sir Thomas Fairfax's uh, regiment of foot, kitted out in uh, new model army colours for uh, 1645, 1646 campaigns. Um, Enjoy this command base. This is the leveler model at the back. So I like to think that uh, uh, he's sort of shouting, uh, Why are we doing this? And trying to convince uh, his men to uh, perhaps reconsider uh, their allegiances the levelers did. Uh, just as they're about to connect with the enemy or as they march forward to, to meet the enemy. So um, these are... Converted models, most uh, the these four converted models or three, sorry. So this guy is actually a pikeman, and his head should be facing to his uh, left there. But I just chopped the head and placed it around, and it actually worked quite well. And it's quite seamless once it's painted up. Uh, this guy's got a storming party musket and sword. Just looks like he's come in and discharged his bullet. And the flag here. Uh, it's just the basic flag that you get with the box set. I haven't done anything fancy with the flags yet. I might go for uh, some GMB design flags or uh, some flags of war. I think it's flags of war or battle flags. Do really good English Civil War flags. Anyway, uh, so that's those done. Uh, so I'm working on the shot for that unit. Um, and all I have left is 16... Uh, musket men on sprues. So that's uh, this is the last sort of unit that I have left to paint for the English Civil War uh, parliamentarians. Uh, and once I do this, it's uh, just the Montrose Irish and some casualties, uh, and then a few character models. And that will be everything then done for the English Civil War. Tried something different with these. Um, I don't know if anyone has painted these models, but uh, and I think it was Miller Miniature said this to me, and I agree wholeheartedly with them that these these break you, um, and for me it's it's just it's the cross belts and everything. It just it's killer to sit down and have twenty four cross belts in front of you, and I can paint twenty four models for Napoleonics and cross belts and it's fine I just don't know why these the prospect of sitting down painting the cross belts and these it's just mad I think it's the poses I don't know I don't know what it is to be quite honest and I'm moaning now and I don't like to moan but um yeah so once I finish these 16 and uh, the Montrose Irish and everything I might take a break from the uh from the English Civil War for a while because, as you've probably seen in the background here, I've got some Napoleonics going. Um, so this is just... I've built them up. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. I built up this unit of uh, French. So there's just a commander there on horse leading them from the front. Uh, they're not glued down or anything. And these were models that I had found that I had started to paint 
very messily about three years ago, I think. Um, and was just sort of blocking in colours very quickly. And uh, you know yourself, the hobby waxes and wanes and I, I moved on to other things. So found them, arrayed them out and uh, should hopefully probably move on to doing those. Um, and I really want to get some Prussians done. Really want to get some Prussians done. So uh, maybe Napoleonics for a while now once the, the English Civil War uh, project has tied up. Uh, and on that, this is it as a whole. So, yeah, that's quite an array of models for five months. So, happy with that. Uh, but that's the hobby update so far, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. And, uh, yeah, happy wargaming.